So today is the first day of school, and to celebrate that, I have a very special video for you. Uh, today I'm going to do a book review, but I'm also going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So the review today I'm doing is for Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tuglake? Something like that. And this is the first book in a trilogy, I believe. Um, <clears throat> it's about a teenage girl and her brother who decide to rent out their guest house to um, someone to kind of, you know, maintain their wealth and make up for the fact that their parents have pretty much just abandoned them um, for a trip to Europe. And so the renter that they take on is a teenage boy who has a very mysterious past and doesn't really tell them who he is or where he comes from that feels like it isn't a lie. And his stories about who he is and where he's from and his childhood kind of change a lot. So it's very obvious from the beginning that there's something off about their renter and the boy living in their guest house. And that he isn't like a lot of other people. Sorry, my cat is scratching her scratching post. Um, let her finish. You done? And because this boy is not mysterious enough, there happens to be a lot of mysterious and bizarre and rather creepy things happening in town, like children missing and local legends being seen and, uh, you know, mythical creatures being witnessed and, you know, things that shouldn't be happening and don't usually happen in this quiet little town and the boy always seems to be a part of it and in the middle of the conspiracy. So it's a really exciting book. It's really, really creepy and very suspenseful. I was reading this while I was camping and um, it's, there were a lot of times when I had to just stop reading it because I was really creeped out. I was intent by myself in like the darkness and I was just like, There'd be like ghosty scenes and creepy monstery scenes, and I was just like, I can't. I was getting too freaked out. Um, you know, it's not really a scary book, but it's creepy. So, you know, you can judge from there. I really, really enjoyed this book. I could not put it down. It's one of the few books I've ever read that I just could not let it go. Um, it took me two days to read because I was, and, and that was with camping and everything I had to do during the day because I just I just flew through it. Um, it was just so enjoyable, it was just so quick, and it n never had a slow point for me. Um, and yeah, I just, I had to know what was what was going on, I had to know what was going to happen next, I had to know what was up with this boy and who he was and how he was involved in things. And I, I just loved it. I loved it so much and I highly suggest this book. Um, it's a beautiful book and it was so much fun to read. I'm giving this 5 out of 5 stars and so yeah I'm gonna go on to uh, review this now. Uh, so if you are interested in this book and what it's about I suggest you skip over this reviewing this discussion part and um, go to the end I will have a little brief little cut uh, to kind of signal that you guys can come back and um, yeah so just mute me for now this will be a quick review um, and wait until the end for the giveaway all right so for the discussion um, yeah I I love this book I loved River so much I loved um, Violet so much I felt like she was a very entertaining character to read about and just like her whole life and her house was amazing. I want to go in her house so bad and go exploring that attic. Oh, God, I, I, oh, the antiques lover in me was just like dying at that part. I had a lot of theories about what was going on um, from the start. I mean, just with the title, you know, Between the Devil and Deep Blue Sea, I thought that River was the devil. Um, like that was a pretty easy assumption to make and even the little inside flap they kind of I mean they don't say he isn't the devil um, and you know there is a lot of 
I guess, you know, evilish things about him. Um, the way he makes people see monsters and see their worst nightmares, and he can conjure up these images, these horrible, horrible in images. But him himself, he is not evil. And so, I don't know. I was kind of, I was kind of disappointed, I guess. I don't know if that makes me a bad person. I, I just, I don't know. I was, I was expecting him to be the devil or like the son of the devil or like, you know, a demon or something, you know, and something a little devilish. And for it not to, him not to be like that, that he's, he's human. He's not like anything demonic. Um, you know, I was glad, but at the same time I was kind of let down. The brother, on the other hand, the half-brother or whatever he is, um, the illegitimate son of their fathers, Brody. Now, he, yes, I, I think he could be the son of the devil, but I, I don't know, it's weird. I, I really wanted it to be something like they were related to the devil somehow, and the fact that they're they're just humans with powers, um, I was kind of I was kind of let down. I was kind of like, well, oh, that's not as cool, you know. But yeah, I, one of my other theories was that they were immortal, and I for most of the book I thought that was what was you know what was going on. Um, I felt like that kind of explained, you know, why he was kind of why he was um, very like mysterious, and I figured. That his standoffishness, is that a word? I don't know if that is a word. Anyway, his standoffishness um, was because he was immortal. And I, you know, I was like, I don't, you know, he's not a vampire, but he's got, he's got to be some kind of, like, immortal. I kind of had a, like, a mild heart attack when um, Violet comes across those letters that her grandmother had hidden in the crosses. And... They're these, like, you know, confessions of, of love and, and, um, you know, you know, you should be with me and da 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 and uh, all this stuff. And they're signed off as William is the, the writer. And I freaked out because I was like, isn't that River's real name, William? And I... Oh. <laughs> For like several seconds I was just, like totally freaked out because I was like oh my gosh he's immortal and and he was in a romantic relationship with her grandmother and that is so creepy that he's like with her now I'm oh so I was kind of glad when they clarified that it was her his grandfather who had known her grandmother and so I yeah I oh god I was like I don't I, mm. So yeah, I was I was kind of disappointed that they weren't like sons of the devil. I maybe maybe they'll go into it more um, with the next books, but um, you know, and and kind of explain. I kind of hope that they explain more of where they get their powers from, um, or like how it began, or or so, I don't know something more about it than just oh they're just people with powers like and they just happen it just happens to run the family like I don't know that's cool but. I don't, I'd like to know more about how or why. River was so easy to fall in love with. Um, he was so easy to swoon after. And I I just hope that he's able to return or they're able to like be able to come back to her quickly and not have to be gone all the time because he's out chasing after Brody. Okay, okay. Brody. How tell me this? I need some theories. People send me some comments and give me your theories on this. How in the world could Brody possibly have survived that end? Okay, he was stabbed like in the heart. I, I don't even want to begin to analyze how she managed to survive her, like, her cuts. But him, you don't just go and survive a stab to the heart. Like, I'm sorry, you don't. But yeah, I really enjoyed this book. Um, like I said, I'm getting it 5 out of 5 stars. I love this book. Um, and yeah, it was great. <laughs> Alright, so on to the book giveaway. Before I get into the giveaway, I'm going to say that on August 14th, I went to Barnes & Noble and I picked up the second book in this series. 
between the spark and the burn and um, I was going to do a video, I was going to do a, this exact video um, a lot sooner but I came down with like the flu or something and I'm still kind of getting over like the coughing, hacking up my lung kind of, you know. And um, so I've been kind of putting off writing, doing this video uh, for a while now and so I've been kind of like MIA for the past week. If you've read the first book and you were looking for the second one, here it is. It's out. Um, I haven't started reading it yet. I'm kind of dying to start it. Um, and yeah, it's it's really I like it. I like the cover. It's got a girl and a guy. So I'm guessing River and Violet down at the bottom in the snow, and there's like a like a house, and it's very winter timey, and a big giant mountain in the background. It's very cool. I can't wait to read it for the giveaway. When I went to go get the second book, I noticed that they were selling, now selling, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea in paperback. And it was amazing. I grabbed it. I want to give this away to someone who hasn't read the books yet, who is really, really interested in reading it. Um, it's, it's a great book. I really, really enjoyed it. And so I, I suggest it to anyone. Um, I'm going to do this giveaway for, I'm going to say a week, um, or until I've got a substantial, substantial amount of people who have entered. Um, I don't have a lot of viewers, but, um, so I mean, you're, the odds are in your favor, so if you enter for this book, um, I will apologize right now, I, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to limit this giveaway to people in the U.S. Um, I, I know I have a big viewing from people from like Europe and like the Philippines and stuff like that. Like it's crazy, but, and I, I love you guys. I lo like, especially Germany. Germany, y'all are like my top country. I, I love you guys. <laughs> uh, I am on a student budget and so I'm like poor. And I'm really sorry. Hopefully, when I get a job, I will be able to more easily afford shipping out of the country. But until that day comes, I'm going to have to stick with U.S. Um, viewers. So I'm really sorry, guys. I love you. I'm really sorry. So if you want to win this book, it's really super easy. I'm making this super, super cool for you guys. Um, all you have to do is three things. Number one, like this video. Number two, send me a comment below this video telling me which of my books you've seen me, or seen the background, or seen me haul, or whatever, um, that you'd like me to read soon, and I will get to that. I need these comments in order to see your names so that I can put you in the raffle for this book. And number three, subscribe to my channel. Um, that's it. That's that's all you have to do. Pretty pretty simple. Um, so yeah, I hope that the best man wins uh, or girl, best girl wins, whatever. Um, and that you all have a really good day. I will see you soon. More videos. Bye.